Okay guys, so I have my model today, Alex, my best friend. Hello. And today we will be, we'll be doing a bridal makeover for her one day. <laughs> one day in the future. <laughs> and um, we're going to do a neutral look, but it's going to have berries and pinks, like still have color, so it'll be nice and pretty. So um, we're going to airbrush you. Are you excited? I'm excited. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm going to use Nurturing Force um, Primer, which is a great shine and oil control cream that works with airbrush, um, airbrush foundations, and it's like the super duper controlling for the oil. So we're just going to apply this as we would like a normal primer. And see, it's, it's it comes out white on your skin, so you have to be careful and make sure to blend it out. It feels cool and ref refreshing. Yeah, I think it has like a minty thing going yeah. on. Okay, so now she's nice and primed. So now we're going to airbrush her, and I'm going to use two different colors. I'm going to use Ket Hydro Foundation, Airbrush Foundation in number 7 and 9. And the seven is going to go on the inner portion of your face and nine on the outer. Just kind of mimic your natural. Okay. Because you know how most people yeah. have different colors. Different, yeah. Okay, so we put a little cape on Alex to protect her clothes just in case. Okay, so now, now that Alex is primed, I'm actually going to apply her concealer before airbrush so that way it'll be easier to cover. So first I'm going to use the or orange from the Makeup Forever palette to kind of correct any discoloration under her eyes. But you don't really have problems with that, right? Not really. Oh, I have some, yeah, some darkness there. It's not too bad. Not yet. <laughs> Eye cream. Yeah. Ren actually um, started me on some eye cream. So now I use eye cream. Yay, and you use it day and night. I use it every morning and every night. Good. So now she's going to close her eyes. I'm going to airbrush her with Ket 07 in the center. And start kind of light so you don't freak them out. <laughs> you feel it coming out? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to put 09 on the outer edges of her face, and this is going to kind of contour her a little bit. This feels great. <laughs> And then I'm going to go in with a, one more darker shade, and this is going to be your contour color. So basically, if you can see the contouring, mm -hmm. see how it's a different level? And I'm going to correct it a little bit with powder too, so it's not quite as yellow in certain areas. But that's pretty much it, so you can see. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to set her with powder. You don't have to do this because airbrush, you can, it, it's optional, but I'm just going to correct the color a little bit. You know, there are some places where you're just more redder than others and more yellower. Mm -hmm. If you want that dewy look, though, you could keep it, you know, wet from the airbrush. And I love my little fan brush. I want to get more like this. It makes applying blush a lot easier too. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we're going to do the eyes and I'm actually going to put on an Urban Decay Primer Potion, which Alex knows about. Mm-hmm. Ren turned me on to that <laughs> product too. That's a good one. She knows all the best, best finds. I kind of read about it. <laughs> <laughs> so. And then if you wanted to, you could have airbrushed over your lids as a base, but since you have oily skin on your mm -hmm. lids, I just to go with the traditional method. Okay, so we did Urban Decay Primer Potion to control the oil so your eyelids are matte. And now we're going to do um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And this is going to act as a color base as opposed to a lid, I mean an oily control type thing. And this is lightening up your lid mm -hmm. for the eyeshadows. So now her lids are nice and primed, so we're going to go to the shadow. Her lid color, we're going to use um, All That Glitters, which is a popular one. I have that one too. Yeah, I have to recreate this whole look. <laughs> I'm just going to put this onto um, your lid close. I'm putting it on the inside to middle, keeping it under the crease. Mm -hmm. Just with um, the Sigma 224 brush. Okay, so we have color on her lid. And now I'm going to go to my good old spice chocolate quad and now I'm going to go and use I'm using these colors right here oh it's very pretty mm -hmm. I like that 
purpley plum. This one, yeah. yeah. I'm going to put that on yours, too. It's pretty. First, I'm going to layer. This is nano gold. And I'm going to layer on top of all that glitters. And it's going to give you more of a pinky look over this. Mm -hmm. Like a pinky sheen. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take that plummy mahogany color. And I'm going to apply it to the outer half of my lid. And blend it in. And the good thing about this brush is even though it's a blender brush, it's stiff enough to get color. We got the plum and the like goldish champagne color. And now we're going to use this color on the outside, which is a brown, just to kind of deepen the outer V. Okay, so we're just going to place this directly into your outer V and contour. And we didn't mean to match your outfit, but we did. <laughs> Kind of a fall look, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I have to think about what to call this one. Mm -hmm. Chocolate Berry Bridal. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's a pretty combination of colors. Oh, wow. Yeah, that... Wow. It really blends well together. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to kind of... I like to just take a Q-tip and, you know, keep it clean on the outer edges. So what's one thing that brides should, that's a definite don't with bridal makeup? Um, don't pick something too trendy. That that's will look point. weird in 20 years. That's why I always tell people, I'm like, you don't want that bright purple because that might be like, like the blue of the 80s. Right. Or the black lip liner and the red lipstick. Ooh, not cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna pick a highlight color, but we're not gonna go too bright on the highlight. We're gonna keep it Still kind of on the brownish, so that it doesn't look so bright up there. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just blending it down. Blending the color. So I'm just going to fill in Alex's brows. First I like to outline them and pencil them and fill them in with powder. So I'm going to do Spiked. And what, which one do you use? I think it's Spiked. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I know there's another one that I thought you used before too. Um, I think I kind of flip flop because I can never remember the name whenever I go in there. Uh, so I probably used a few different mm -hmm. different ones. I'm just outlining her brows. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a lighter powder and do the inside of your brows. And then I do a darker on the outside so it's a little more natural. Okay, so now we are going to you do that concealer trick with the brow. Do you ever do that? What's the concealer trick? You do the concealer above and below. Oh, no, I've never tried it, but I remember you did it. Makes a big difference. Before. Yeah, it does make a big difference. That's what I saw them doing on Nini, too, on the episode. Nini's makeup stylist, or makeup artist, seems really good. Yeah, she's upgraded. Yeah, I was like, she seems like she knows what she's doing. Mm -hmm, because, you know, when you're in that limelight, mm -hmm. <laughs> Some help. Yeah. So with this trick, you have to use a lighter. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Yeah, like a lot of people use that studio finish pot, mm -hmm. and they just um, get it a little lighter just for this purpose. A lot of people do that. Right. And then blending it out with a concealer brush. Now that we have her eyebrows done, I can put a little bit of a lighter highlight up there, just like right underneath the brow bone. So I think I'm gonna do like either nylon or rice paper. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the classic brow highlighters. So we're just putting it right underneath the brow. And just highlighting it. So she has like a nice little highlighted brow bone, but we only put the shimmer just like underneath the arch. So it's not too much, you know? Do you want to see? Yeah, I think that yeah. looks really nice. It's right still now. subtle looking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we gotta line the eyes because that makes look or breaks a lot. Right. If you don't line it, you can't tell how good it's gonna look. Mm -hmm. So I'm just kind of keeping it close to her lash line because it's been a super dramatic look. And while that's drying, I'm gonna get her lashes out. We're gonna do Ardell 120 Dummies. So now we're gonna do the lower lash line while I'm here. And I'm going to do, um, I'm not doing black all up in the liner all up in the waterline, just on um, part of it. So it's not super dramatic. Just look up, and we're just doing her waterline, but only like about midway. 
Okay, so now we're going to put the burgundy on her lower lash line. Hmm. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the brown. So kind of just deepen it and just look up. Just to kind of smoke it out. Only halfway through. And now this is a good little mall because her eyes can all tear up all crazy. Ren's a good <laughs> applicant. Okay, so now I'm going to put the little shimmery powder on the inside to kind of connect it. Let's look up. So then we're going to put the lash on, and the lash actually fit Alex. I don't have to trim Let's it. Just look down. Now I'm just going to pop the lash on her, and it should be tacky by now. So I'm just popping it on. Okay, look up. Just make sure there's a little glue that touches the bottom, so that's why you tell them to look up so that way you can make sure they're not glued. Okay, so we're gonna let those dry and then we're going to move on to her face and we're gonna do some more contouring because black and white photography makes a difference. Let's try. Everybody wants contouring. Yeah. So I'm just taking um, these two definitive and I forgot what this one was called shadowy and these are your contour colors so i'm putting them kind of over where we put the original airbrush color mm -hmm. just to make it more defined mm -hmm. this is gonna go up here and around here okay so we have the contoured and of course you gotta use blush Ooh, to warm her up that one's Hot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it doesn't look like that on, though. Do you want to see what it looks like on? Sure. It just looks, I mean, if you apply it all heavy, you will. It actually looks nice. Okay. Alex loves this color, which is a pro color. A popular one, actually. Azalea. Oh, that's pretty. So we're going to put it on. And, you know, it's not going to come out as bright because we're not putting it heavy. Mm -hmm. So it's just going to add a nice little glow. And I'm just blending it in, and I'm blending it up. Okay, so her lashes are dry now, so we're going to do the mascara setting. This is going to blend her real lashes in with her false ones. And for a wedding, always use waterproof. For all the tears. They better use it for size, because this is going to be crazy. Yeah, okay. we all need to use that waterproof. Yeah. Once I see someone go... Yeah, it's like when you see someone cry. The domino effect. Mm-hmm. So now... We have her mostly done here. I'm going to add a little more shimmer powder though because I like a little glow to our bride. Yeah. So this is the brunette MSF. It looks like, you know, it's good for women of color because it's more warm tone so okay. it doesn't look ashy and frosty. Oh, that's good. Because sometimes it will just look white, you know? Mm hmm So now we're going to do lips. And we're doing like kind of the same color family. I'm actually doing two glosses. Oh. So we are using chestnut. I mean, this is pretty much like the basic for women of color is chestnut all the time. It's just to me like it's almost like the lip color, but a little bit darker. Okay. So that way you can wear it with any color. Yeah. So we're going to line her lips. The aquifer should have sunk in by now. Mm-hmm. I like doing multiple colors. Yeah. Do you usually put the lighter one in the middle? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because it's like a highlight type thing. Oh, okay. This smells good. Mm -hmm. It smells like berry. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put the Queen Bee Lip Gloss, which actually came out with that Naked Honey collection. Do you remember me telling you about that? Yes, I do. And I'm going to put it to the center. So I'm going to apply it in the middle. Now touch your lips together. Okay, so then I'm going to spread it out. And this lightens it up. Okay, so I like to put lip liner after gloss just to kind of redefine. And since there's product on your lip already, it's like a smoother look. It's mm -hmm. not like it's such a defined line. And now we're going to finish with a little setting spray. I'm going to use my mom bottle. <laughs> so this is going to set your makeup, and I love this for brides, so when their makeup lasts all day, 
And it's just like a setting spray. It's better than Fix Plus, so Fix Plus is just water. This actually has setting stuff in it. Mm. This is close your eyes. And I'm gonna try to cover her a little bit so it doesn't get in her nose. Do you feel it though? Mm hmm She yeah, it's kind of strong. Mm hmm Okay, so let that dry. So bad, yeah. That's the finished look. Look, you can see the mirror. You like oh it? yeah, no, I really like it. It looks it's like nice, polish. Right. It's natural too, which is great for mm -hmm. a bride because you don't want it to yeah. be too overwhelming. But I think it's really mm -hmm. and it's still has color. color.